You're watching, old mates. Backyard Tech. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Second day of the working week. That's about all I can say. May as well get into the Tuesday promo. Morning all, well it is Tuesday, second day of the working week, it's not Monday, it's about all I can really think of. <laughs> it's just gone ten past seven in the morning here and before we get into the rest of the Tuesday promo, oh god I thought I'd lost it, coffee time. Okay, a um, little bit of housekeeping to do first, no more ESXi stuff yet, um, I, I don't know how you guys out there do this day in day out with EUI addressing in the hexadecimal namespace because bloody hell, I'm going down the route of creating a proper fully fledged custom EUI address. Geez, that's difficult when you can't get your head around hex. Um, the proper way of doing this is to run EUI, right? Enterprise Unique Identifier, because let's face it, if you're running this sort of thing and you're going to use IQN, you may as well go back to school and learn how to turn on a calculator. So, at this stage, I'm going to have to put it on hold until I can figure out how to do this EUI stuff, because, good God, it's difficult. It's really tedious. So that's coming. I'll, I'll have to work on that today. So we won't be doing any ESXi stuff probably till tomorrow or Thursday at this stage because I'm really going to be struggling to understand this whole hexadecimal namespace. I don't know how all you out there do it because I certainly am battling with it. Um, you know, you, you ideally you're supposed to use U Enterprise Unique Identifier for this sort of stuff. You wouldn't, if you're using IQN, well, put it this way, if you were to promote the fact that you'd set up ESXi with IQN in this fashion, you'd probably have every sysadmin in the world howling on you and shatting on you from a great height because you've done the grade one type. You have no idea. You've just created a NAS scenario, if you get my drift. So I'm going to have to put that on hold until I can master EUI because I've never used EUI in the past. Okay, what are we are coming up here at Backyard Tech instead? We've got tech news today for you coming up soon. And there was a bizarre news story I saw this morning, but I'm sort of umming and ahhing as to whether to actually put it up. I'll have to figure that out later. We'll have tonight's convo, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. GMT UTC plus 11 and that's about it that's what's on the cards for the day I can't think of yeah that's about it <laughs> I told you Tuesday's a nothing day isn't it anyway what I will say is once I get this EUI garbage I don't know how people do EUI stuff day in day out because you've got to be super intelligent to get your head around hexadecimal stuff I literally mean super intelligent because I can't. I don't know how you guys do it every day, EUI stuff. I mean, it's not hard to be smarter than old, mate. That's that's a given. But these enterprise unique identifiers, you try and write your own custom one, and if you get it wrong, you're up SH1T Creek without a paddle going backwards very quickly. So it could take me a couple of days before I get my head around it. We'll see what happens. Anyway, stick around. We'll have tech news today coming up. And also, if I think I can do it, bizarre news. Enjoy your Tuesday, guys. Cheers.